Hello again and welcome back to Power of the Veil. Vale. We've got um, some uh, new product out today. Um, today we're going to work with just plain scarves, all right, plain veils. Um, with these, you don't need to have a wimple or an undercap. Um, and this kit is actually called the Triple Header. I'm going to show you what we've got. Um, they're very, very pretty. Um, the first one is a uh, floral, all right? Floral pattern, very, very pretty. You've got pink and, I don't know, like orangey color. Um, uh, green, uh, purple, blue, and then it's kind of like an off-white uh, kind of... Um, background on it um it's, it's even got a little bird on it i don't know if you can see it but there's a little bird on the pattern all right um so with these all right they are long all right very long very long scarf however they're not wide they're a bit narrow all right and as you can see it's it's very it, it's sort of i don't want to say completely see-through um but it, it does have some clarity to it so it's going to look really nice we pair it off with the others so this is the first one that's going to be in your kit and then the next one that follows it is this i guess maybe you could call it violet violet and white and it's got like a geometric triangle pattern on it and it's very lovely this material is like a polyester blend i suppose and very 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 pretty and then because you know it's never a dull moment around here now is it <laughs> this one brace yourselves for it because this one is very bold look at this this one is I'll put it against her face there well I, this one is orange green it's got some blue on it a white so this is a very <laughs> interesting one as well so you're like looking at the screen right now going, oh my goodness, what are you going to do with all those crazy colors there? Oh, we're going to have fun. That's what we're going to do. Now, before we begin, um, oh, I just also want to let you know, these will be available. This, it's called the triple header. All right. We've heard of a double header baseball. This is a triple header and this kit will be available on the Etsy page and I'll have the link below in the description box there. So get your triple header. Um, just a few words on scarf safety. All right. Number one, never sleep in a scarf, a veil or a wimple. Number two, avoid open flame while wearing a scarf, a veil or a wimple. Number three, avoid moving mechanical parts. Number four, make sure you wash every day after you use it. Make sure that you wash your scarves and your wimples and your veils. Uh, number five is keep away from children and pets. And number six, which is the most important of all, never ever tie a scarf around your neck scarves are the most beautiful accessories that one can adorn herself with but they're also the most dangerous and you can strangle yourself so please be wise all right now um if you like this channel please um give it a thumbs up uh subscribe um click the notification button down below and also make sure to comment and share all right so what are we going to do with this now 
it all depends on what kind of um hairstyle you've got all right um there's all kinds you can have uh long hair short hair you can have a pixie a mohawk you can have it bald you can have it very 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 short like a buzz cut um very long you can have it all one length you can have long layers it doesn't matter it all depends on how you want to wear your hair so for example if you want it to gather it up in a loose bun in the back it would go great um if you want to leave your hair all down hanging loose that'll go great too if you've got maybe dreadlocks it'll work as well um you can do whatever you like it's your hair your creativity and you are the one who establishes the limits as to how you're going to do it um with a style like this um if you've got long bangs or uh, bangs you can leave some of them out you can leave some tendrils out um you could just do a messy ponytail all right and have like hairs coming around the nape of the neck as well uh or a messy bun uh, you can put your bun or your ponytail on the top or, you know, you know, on the top, on the back, or even down. It all depends. Um, just make sure that however you put your hair up, if you do, that it's not super tight. You don't want a headache and you don't want to rip your hair out. Um, a lot of times women that wrap a lot um, and they pull their hair back too tight, uh, they'll start losing some hair along the front, the hairline or the back. So, you know, just have fun with it. This is not a torture device. All right. So what are we going to do? All right. So the first one, what we're going to do is let's take this bold one. All right. Because this is going to be our anchor piece. And basically, we just want to make sure that it's right side up. And let's see, usually the annoying tag lets me know which is the inside and which is the outside as we see. So it's there. So I'm just going to flip it this way so that my tag is on the bottom there. Now with this, it's not really going to matter. Um, you don't have to precisely measure it. You can do one side longer than the other. You can eyeball it to the center. It really doesn't matter. All right. This is one of those, you know, yay. I don't have to worry too much. All right. So we're going to bring it to the nape of the neck. All right. And we're just going to, however it falls, okay? Because we want the fullness. We want the volume of the fabric. And basically, we're just going to tie it here on the top. All right. So we're just going to make a little knot. Now, these are not slippery on hair, all right? Everything, however, is slippery on styrofoam, all right? So don't get disheartened, all right? Um, I'm just going to bring it off camera for a minute here to secure it. Um, oh, our little friend is back. Yes. Do you want to say hello to everyone? <laughs> there you go. All right. You know, she never comes over unless the camera's on. All right, there you go. I guess she wants to be a star. So I'm going to just pull this off the camera for a minute, make sure that I've got it here um, all together the way I need it to go. Now, with this, another thing is, since these scarves are a bit, um, uh, how should I say, um, they're, they're not very wide all right you may find that you it don't get complete coverage on all over your hair that's all right it's not a problem okay um it's it's gonna work out all right so here we go again so i'm gonna bring her out i'm gonna turn it around and as you can tell right here <laughs> yes little one <laughs> you can't be on in the show all day long can you can you move over there please Yes, yes, yes. Let me pull you off here. There you go. All right. So as you can tell, 
there, there's kind of a spot here where it's not covering all. That's all right. All right. So there she is. Now, to follow up something like this, as you can tell, even though they're completely different patterns, there's blue and there's blue. Um, there's orange, and I don't know, this is a bit kind of orangey. So they kind of go together, all right? Um, and this is the beauty of it all, that they're so different, yet they're in the same kind of family of colors there. All right, so this one here, what I'd like to do is, um, oh, she's back. Please, love. <laughs> I'm going to have to start a YouTube channel just for her. Perhaps an Instagram page. Because she's really wanting, a, you know, a show of her own. And maybe perhaps a talent scout who will recognize her. All right. So this one, which is our second um, one that we're going to put on here. And again, the order that you put these on does not matter. All right. It's all up to what you feel like that day. So this one, I'm going to actually bring it kind of diagonal, all right? So as you can tell, the first one went straight, you know, from the back over. So this one's going to go diagonally. And let's see, where's my end here? All right, there we go. So I'm just going to, once more, just tie... A knot on it and again the ends don't have to be the same I'm gonna actually leave this one a bit longer than this one so we're gonna do that all right so let me give it once around again for you all right so as you can tell coverage isn't all the same. I Actually, you know what? I can make this a bit tighter. Let me make it a bit tighter. And as you can tell, you're going to have gaps. You want those gaps because those gaps are going to create volume. All right. So there we go. I'll just pull this back a little bit there so we can see your face. All right. And then let's take our last one. All right. And this one, we're going to do what I call crisscross applesauce. I'm <laughs> darling. Yes, I promise we will get you your own channel. Yes. Come over here. Come with moms. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you are just so sweet. All right, go that way. They always say don't do uh, any kind of show with animals or children because they'll steal the crowd from you. And I'm starting to see that. <laughs> but you know she's adorable I love her to pieces alright so this one went this way the first one went this way so this one will go this way alright so we're going to make a crisscross here and pull it through the back All right, and I want to pull this over, and again, there is no rhyme or reason as far as how long tails will be, it really doesn't matter. And so this knot will go right here, and that's another reason why you don't want to tighten these super tight because you might get a headache all right so we've got our first one we've got our second one and we've got our third one all right there we are now it doesn't matter if you cross it this way and then this way or this way, or that way. You just want to kind of cross it, all right? So it's not like straight, you know, bands going around to get this look. 
All right, so let me give her a quick turn around here. So as you can see, there's all sorts of mayhem going on here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I already like it. Now, you know, if you want it to, you could just kind of floof it out. And you could just walk out of the house like this. Why not? That's the beauty of this. There is no protocol. All right. So this in itself right here. Oh, I really like this. This in itself is, is lovely. Look at that. All right. But we're going to take it up a notch. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab any piece that I can find here. I'm going to, let's say, I'll just pull this one first. And I'm just going to pull it over. Just give it a little twist. All right, just to cover, because I want fullness. And I will bring it underneath this one. These two tails can stay out. And just twist it some more. Twist it. And right here, I just, I'm going to put it right in there. Right into this knot. So, find a spot here. Just tuck it in. All right. Now, remember, you can tuck it in wherever you find a spot. And sometimes, like, for example, this piece is kind of short. Well, if I wanted to, I could tuck it in right here. In fact, I might just do that. I'm going to tuck it into the purple. And I might just wrap it around just to give it some more of a look there. All right. Now let's take this one. And what do I want to do? I just kind of gather it. I just pull the ends. Let's see here. Oh, where is it? Uh, make sure I got it right. Make sure that the ends are tucked underneath. All right. And I just kind of, you know, kind of do that. And then I just give it a little twist around there. Not too tight, just a little twist. All right. And then find a spot for it. So on this one, I might just go for broke and bring it up front here. And perhaps tuck it down here. Pull it through. And maybe give it a little wrap around. Now, here's the annoying tag, so make sure that tag is hidden. You know, and if you left the little piece out, that'd be all right, but you can just tuck it in. Now we've got this bad boy here to contend with. So, we're going to continue to do this. Just wherever you find a piece, just kind of twist it. And, oh no, why not pull this under? And tuck this right in here. That's nice here. All right, so now I want to do something different. I'm going to take this piece here and let's see here. Where does this one want to go? How about we pull it over and then Put it in under. There you go. And again, remember, if you want to wrap it around, you can too. That I might do that with this one just to give you an idea. Where is that end here? There we go. Oh, 
share where is my there we go they're just kind of I like sometimes just to wrap one and then let it out all right so I want to take this one here and just be a little bit just bold and daring this is gonna be our last one there and oh darling are you back yes you can have your own show <laughs> she'll probably get more likes than i do let's tuck that one here and then we've got this and why not <laughs> all right little one you're fine and then just tuck this here oh isn't she just sweet all right She's like, Moms, you're not paying attention to me. You're playing with your doll head again. And you've totally neglected me. All right, little one. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So basically, it's just going to go wherever, wherever you want to place them. And look. Look at this look. That looks really cool. And you can always adjust it. You can have it more to the front. Oh, this piece came out, but you know what? <laughs> oh, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> All right, go play. If a piece comes out, no worries. You just find another spot for it. That's perfect. So there we go. I'll pull this up here. Give it a little bit of height. All right, so let me turn it around so you can see the full thing. And remember, it's all going to be different heights depending on how you've done your hair. All right, you can pull it to the side. Have it heavy on one side and opened up on the other. Just kind of play around with it. So here we go. Just one more example of what you can do. It's all about your imagination and your creativity. But we got all of them to work, didn't we? And pull it up this way, pull it down that way. You can even leave some little pieces out. That looks cute. Kind of give it another look. Just some pieces out. I like it with the pieces out. So the pieces are basically just wrapped and just coming out. Looks like a little flower, doesn't it? All right, folks, well, I hope you like this one. Um, please like and share. Um, hit that notification button. And I'll be talking to you really soon. But before I let you go, could you imagine hanging some very bold earrings off of these? Very bold earrings on each side. And, and some very dramatic eye makeup. And, and lips. That's all you basically need with something like that. You're yeah, lovely. All right. So until I see you again, bright blessings. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.